Good day, subscribers. It's me, the finance guy, and I am back from vacation. As you can see, I look kind of like a... And I just wanted to talk to you guys about my journey and all the fun that I had. <laughs> and as you can see, I have done some really cool things over the weekend. You ever seen something so beautiful in all of its splendor? I didn't think so. So I just wanted to kind of say thank you so much for watching while I was gone. And I also wanted to talk to you guys about my stock pick of the week. I totally forgot to do this before I left. But as you can see in the markets today, things have been rather down. As you can see, it looks like China is vowing to retaliate with 200 billion in US tariff threat. We'll see how that pans out in the future. And that creates buying opportunities for the future. And let's get started on my pick of the week. Today I would like to look at Cardinal Health and I think this is a deep value play or heading towards deep value. So let's look into that today. Cardinal Health has many different brands from medical to pharmaceutical products that they use for hospitals and all kinds of different companies that are utilizing their products. And that has a varying degree from anything from anesthesia to gloves to pharmaceutical medicines like influenza. All right, let's start with the price and see where it's been over the past 20 years and what kind of fluctuations the stock may have seen during that time. As you can see, as time has gone by, this company has had moments where it has gone up in price and come down in price. And over the past, you know, few years, it's been on a downward trend. In fact, its high point was somewhere around the 80 plus dollars and now it's down to $48 a share. All right, let's look at the revenue and make sure that it's on an upward trend. All right, it looks like the revenue from this company has had um, pretty decent growth over the past few years and has had a little bit of a dip in 2013-14 um, and then steady growth outside of that into higher and higher amounts. In fact, its trailing 12 months is 132 billion. This is a lot. So this company has a decent amount of revenue coming in. And while we're here, let's check out the cash on hand and see where that is currently. And if that's still decent amount, they have a few billion in cash. I'd like to see as much as they had um, not all that long ago. They had quite a bit of cash on hand, so it's actually came down a little bit. Let's check the dividend payout and make sure that it's on a nice, steady, consistent upward trend. All right, as far as I can see, as time has gone by, the payout for this company and its dividend has increased. And uh, that's something I always really like to see in a company, a nice steady upward dividend payment. Let's check the P-E ratio and see if it's cheap in comparison to the rest of the market. All right, as I can see that the best time to buy this was around 5 P-E back in 2009. Of course, during 2009, there was a lot of companies that were on sale. Um, right now, the P-E ratio for this company is at 9.3, 9.8, somewhere around in there. And while we're here, let's just check out the P-B ratio. As you can see, the P-B ratio is actually pretty low for this company right now, which is kind of, kind of good. Let's check the debt to equity ratio and make sure that it's decreasing over time. So it looks like its debt to equity ratio was much better many years ago. And unfortunately, as time has gone by, it's become worse and worse. And this is something that I never really like to see in a company but I think it could do still well in the future. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you stopping in and seeing what's going on. And I also wanted to tell you guys that if this is your first time here joining us on the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell because I make videos all the time and once a week I cover a stock that I'm interested in. In conclusion, I thought that Cardinal Help was somewhere around like a 6.5 out of 10 of one of my favorite stocks I think would be good to buy at this time. With that also being said, I have now found myself in a better financial situation over the years. I have become better and better and I will be reaching a better and better point I think in the next 10 to 20 years as well just because I've found better and better ways to get ahead financially and I just wanted to tell you guys that now I've finally been able to enjoy myself doing a vacation and I think that you guys can get to that point too where you guys can take vacations and take time um, off doing the things that you really want to do 
With that being said today, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, social media links are down in the description if you guys are looking for anything that I'm doing right now. If you have more questions, feel free to hit me up there, and I'll try and get back to you guys as quick as possible. And here's a question for you guys today. Are you guys going on vacation? And with that being said today, guys, I hope to see you guys again next time.